this is Kendra Krebs with Art Impressions Rubber Stamps and Watercolor with Kendra. I am here at Scrapbook Expo, super excited. Um, I have had a lot of requests to do the heart wreath, so I thought I would show everybody else, but also show you in the meantime, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna need watercolor paper, and I'm also using the Art Impressions Foliage and Flower Sets. Okay, these come on cling cushion, so you're definitely gonna need your acrylic box for those. And I'm gonna start out using my Daisy Bunch and my Vine. So these two are the, um, the main stamps that I'm gonna be using, okay? So I'm gonna also use number 15 Olive Green and the number 20 Magenta and the number 28 English Red, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna take my Vine and I am just going to ink the very tip of that stamp. And I'm gonna start by coming in and stamping at least five times or three times before re-inking, but typically you want to do five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and re-ink, okay? So I'm just going to work on getting the basic shape of that heart in. Even if it's not perfect, it's completely fine because I can always come back in and add more vines later if I want to. Okay, I'm going to work on the second hump here and just come all around and I do want to leave some white space for the flowers. Okay, so I've got a basic heart shape. Now I can come in and add a few more vines if I want just to kind of stick them out a little bit. Go a little further down. Okay. And we'll accentuate the humps. And you can hear the people so excited about Scrapbook Expo. If you're somebody who's Our interested, so oh, good. here Welcome they come. To How awesome. Expo. They're going to rush in and come see what I'm doing here. So, you've got your basic heart shape now. I'm going to come in and start adding my flowers, okay? So first we're going to start with the magenta. I'm going to take my little daisy bunch. Now I have these on wood mount for my demo purposes, but I typically use them on clean cushion. I prefer them on clean cushion because I can see exactly where I'm stamping. But for the sake of the demo, they did want us to use the wood mount. So here we go. We're just going to come in and just stamp all around. And if any of you have seen the tip of the day where I did the wreath, it's the same concept. So you're just going to go around and add all of your little flowers now. Okay. So I'm just keeping that basic heart shape all around. Coming in and doing clusters. So these little clusters, they remind me of hydrangeas. I think they're so darn cute. I'm just gonna come in, keep going. Okay, all around. Now I'm gonna start using the number 28 English red. And I love the combo of the red and pink. I think it's so cute. And it's something you don't see as often um, outside of something like Valentine's Day, but I just love this combo. I use it a lot. So just going around, same thing. It's very simple. Just gonna keep moving until I'm satisfied that I have enough red and enough pink. And you know what? I might add a little bit of a blue tone in here because I love this steel blue. So I'm gonna add this one in as well. And I'm not going to even clean my stamp. I'm just gonna go straight over it with the blue and just get that mid-tone and that's totally fine with me because eventually that blue will just start coming out. So I'm just going to add a few of these blues in. And keep going around. This is so simple. All you need is that foliage and flower set from Art Impressions. Some Marvy La Plume markers or some Tombos. Any water-based marker should work for you. And then your watercolor paper. So now I'm gonna take my brush. Now this is the number four round connoisseur brush. 
and I'm going to dip into my water just taking some so not a whole ton but I'm gonna wipe off that excess water and I'm gonna come in and just start touching all of my greens first okay so I'm just gonna go around and touch all the greens get some more water here if I miss a green or two it's okay I can always grab it later or if I want to add more flowers in after or more vines in after I totally can okay so just keep going all around work your way around I love this little heart this is such a great design for like a Mother's Day obviously Valentine's Day would be so cute a birthday this would even be great for a sympathy card or just a hello you can just send this to somebody this is artwork so everybody's gonna be super excited to get anything that's hand painted and they're gonna value it a lot especially when you put your signature onto it. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So, keep going all around. Now I'm gonna touch all of my blue flowers, okay? I'm gonna come in and just dab all the blue. Okay, so keep going. I'm just gonna dab all of those blues. I'm glad I put that blue in. I think the blue is so cute with the pink and the, the red. And I would just encourage you to try different color combinations that you're not used to doing or that you haven't done before. It's so much fun to kind of see how they come out. So now I'm gonna to touch all my reds. So I'm just going in, touching all the reds. And if I get a pink in there, it's okay. Just keep going. But look at that red just pop. <laughs> Now I'm going to touch all the pinks. So I'm getting in here and do you see how that pink just pops like crazy? Just love that pink, that magenta color. So keep going around. I'm just dabbing. You can see that I'm not poking my paper. I'm just dabbing with the side of the brush. So going all around. And I'm just dabbing all around these flowers. And I'm not too concerned about touching every single flower, okay? And then that's about it. So I want to sign my work because it is a one-of-a-kind piece of art. No one's ever gonna do the exact same thing again, including myself. So definitely sign your work. And that is the Art Impressions Watercolor Wreath. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something here. Definitely subscribe below if you wanna join me in the watercolor adventure on Watercolor with Kendra. So thank you, have a great day, bye.